Okay, so I have to share this. I'm Tiffany, I'm a PA, but I'm also a GLP-1 advocate, and I have talked to thousands of patients that are taking GLP-1s. So I hear back from people all the time what they experience when they're on these medications. So another thing that I do is help people get access to these meds, especially if your insurance is not paying for them. So if you're having trouble, there are some links over here in my profile that hopefully can help you get access to these medications. Okay, so time and time again, people tell me if they were on a GLP-1 like semaglutide or trisepatide, that their taste buds completely glitch out on them. So some examples, sometimes people tell me they start craving ice, like they make sonic ice a full meal. Or probably one of the most common things that I hear is that people who used to have a two coffee latte a day addiction tell me that they can't tolerate their coffee anymore. I had one person tell me it tastes like burnt tires. So what's going on? So GLP-1s do not just work in your stomach. They act on your hypothalamus, which is the part of your brain that regulates hunger and satiety, meaning how full you get and how quickly. They also regulate dopamine signaling. So that plays a role in how we experience reward in the brain from the food that we eat. So a lot of people tell me that that go-to comfort food or snack that they used to eat just doesn't hit the same as it used to. Another craving that people tell me over and over again is that they crave vegetables. So people before that you wouldn't find eating many vegetables really are wanting cucumbers or um, pickles or things that they just would never want before. One of the other things that I hear over and over again is I like to call the meat icks. And so a lot of people get an aversion to meat or certain types of meat. So some people tell me they can still do chicken, but just can't do beef or pork for some reason. So because GLP-1s slow down the emptying of your stomach, and you feel fuller longer, your relationship with food really starts to change. So sometimes new cravings pop up, old ones start to vanish. So it's weird, it's wild, sometimes it's temporary, but it's also a sign that the med is working on a deeper level. So again, not just the number on the scale, and this is not just about a reduced appetite. So I wanna know what things are you craving now that you're on a GLP-1, or what things can you not do anymore now that you're on a GLP-1? I love to get feedback from people, so give me, drop them in the comments below, and just keep listening to your body. So your body's trying to speak to you all the time, and if you will just listen, it's gonna tell you what to do.